Innovation and ingenuity defines the human existence. Ever since you know, the Stone Age, we have invented new ways of doing things. We've invented better ways and easier ways of doing things. And fusion is no different than that. So fusion power can be the holy grail for what the world needs for energy. We keep hearing more and more about AI and the amount of energy that's required for that. Everything we do today from electric cars or else is gonna need more electricity. GA has been in the fusion game really from, from the beginning. And you know, there was a lot of recognition that fusion would be a revolutionary breakthrough for um, humanity in terms of the abundance of energy that it could provide. The ITER project is an unprecedented global collaboration, which is essentially proving that fusion energy can work at the power plant level. The advantage of the U.S. being involved in the fusion energy space is that we've essentially developed a supply chain that can support fusion energy. And now we know where to go, how to get there, and we can use that to our advantage in the future. GA was selected out of two competitors to build the central solenoid for ITER. The central solenoid is often named the heart of ITER. It provides really the central heartbeat of ITER. It drives current in the plasma and helps control the plasma. The CS project is unlike anything that's ever been built. We had to develop a, a modern uh, supply chain. Often our suppliers are dealing with the largest or the heaviest or the most precise aspects of, of their technologies. And we had to bring all that in to develop the manufacturing know-how and the tooling in order to produce the CS magnets. The private sector has to bring in its resources uh, uh, and its abilities to move technology at a significantly accelerated pace to work with the government entities to make sure collectively we are successful in commercializing fusion energy as quickly as possible. They need to develop and we have that capability here um, alongside with all of the the huge amount of data that's been generated in facilities like the D3D uh, facility that General Atomics operates. So fusion energy goes far beyond energy and the need for renewable, sustainable energy. It's actually a giant business opportunity, especially here in San Diego. We have prestigious universities, we have young people early in their career excited about AI, and they're understanding that these data centers and these capabilities are required in order to sustain that level of use. So what GA is really looking at is, what's that next level of workforce? How do we train them? How do we keep them engaged and excited? How do we give them opportunities to make sure that this is a long-term solution for the United States and for the rest of the world? Fusion is something that can not only alter the trajectory in terms of energy, but since energy impacts just about every other field, whether you're looking at computing, whether you're looking at transportation, whether you're looking at manufacturing, it would change the trajectories of all those fields because of the availability of clean, affordable, limitless energy. My youngest daughter is about nine, and I look forward to the opportunity when she grows up to live in a world that has fusion energy. Um, that could be boundless electricity. She doesn't have to think about electric rates. She doesn't have to think about if the wind's not blowing or the sun's not shining. And what could that really unlock? What sort of innovation does that give her an opportunity to develop? Those are the things that, that I like to think about as part of fusion industry.